Hi, I'm going to show you how to set up a new document in basic APA style. These are the things we'll cover in this video. To find the APA style guidelines, go to learningsupport.acap.edu.au, then choose the Assessment Writing tab and go to Presentation Guidelines. Here they are. Now, how to set up your document. Firstly, open a new Microsoft Word document. Usually, the margins are set correctly when you open a new document, and you don't need to change them. If you want to double check, click on the Page Layout tab and then click on Margins. Normal should be selected here. Now we want to set the font type and size. Go to the Home tab, from the font selection drop down box here, choose Times New Roman. You can type in the name Times New Roman or you can scroll down the list. Next to the font selection box is the font size. Choose size 12. OK, on to line spacing. Still on the Home tab, click on this button here with lines and arrows. This is for line spacing and paragraphs. Choose 2 for double spacing. If at the bottom of this list it says remove space after paragraph, click on that to remove the extra space that Microsoft Word often puts after paragraphs. We don't want that extra space. Now we need to have an indented first line for each paragraph. A good way to do this is with the margin ruler. To see the ruler, click on the view tab and click on ruler to get a tick in this box. Then you'll be able to see these margin rulers here. To set the first line indent, hover your mouse over the top triangle here until you see the words first line indent. When you see them, click and hold the mouse button as you drag the triangle to one and a quarter. Just the top triangle should have moved, not the lower triangle or square. OK, let's put some text in our document and check the formatting is OK. I have some text here in another document which I can highlight, then right mouse click and choose copy. Then back to my formatted document. Right mouse click again and choose the paste option here with a capital A. This option is keep text only. It will remove any formatting from the original document and your pasted text should conform to the formatting of this new document. OK, a quick check. First line of the paragraph is indented, lines are double spaced, Times New Roman font in size 12, we're good so far. Now we'll put in a header. To open the header space, double click in the area at the top of the page. You can see we're in a special area separate from the main page now. The things you put in here will stay constant on each page of the document. First, put the page number. When you're in the header, you can see this header and footer tools menu. Click on page number, then top of page, then option 3, which puts the number on the right hand side. Good. Now put your mouse cursor on the left side of the page number and type in your full name. Press the tab key once, then type in the unit name. Press the tab key once more. There, that's the header done. Double click on the main page area to exit from the header. If you need to edit the header, just double click on it again to get in. OK, the last thing we need is a cover sheet. You can find that from a class space. At the top of your class space is an Assessment Resources menu. Click on Assessment Cover Sheets. That takes us to a page of A to Z Forms. Go to Assessment Forms and we want Assessment Cover Sheet, Written Work, All Campuses, the Microsoft Word version. Click on that and you download the cover sheet. This information needs to go on the first page of my assignment, not in a separate document. So I'm going to select and copy all this Go back to my assignment document and paste it on the first page. For this one, choose the first paste option, Keep Source Formatting. Great, now I have a cover page, Times New Roman font, size 12, double spacing and first line indent for paragraphs. That's the basic formatting for APA style.